Saturday morning cartoons with Okami because of its cell shaded fanciness. Once upon a time, in a far away land, there was a tiny village by the name of Kamiki. Legend tells of a horrible beast that threatened the residents. It also tells of the wolf that risked it all to protect them. Controlling the very fabric of existence, this wolf stood up against a beast many times its size and banished the darkness. This ethereal wolf's valiant act ushered in an era of tranquility. The villagers' hearts swelled with respect and adoration of the wolf. Aroo! Big ups. Alright, I think we are ready to get into it. Story. Hideki Kamiya. Long, long ago, a tiny hamlet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. To satiate the appetite of Orochi, a fearsome cave-dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. Because that's just what you do, because ladies are expendable, right? With a body like a mountain, and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood-red eyes alone were set to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. The night of the sacrifice drew near. A mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. <laughs> it is really a pretty, pretty animation. It's all that cell shading and they focus heavily on that ink style of painting. That's like a whole uh, aspect of the, the entirety of the game. That's how you progress and stuff. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shiranui. Shiranui, I assume. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village, and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranui. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shiranui's swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white-plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into... the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. 
The Moon Cave, a place of dark, as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. As Nagi stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and grasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. Hello, little boy. I know, right? Yeah? In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shiranui, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fair, fearsome claws, Shiranui leapt towards Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shiranui summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames. As Orochi closed in on Shiranui's sharpened, sharpened claws glistening, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shiranui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. Shiranui, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike, what would be a fatal blow. But Shiranui refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. A woo! Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary. Channeling all his strength into his scarred and battered arms, he leapt, fer he leapt ferociously towards Orochi, his sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. I like that each head has its own, like, traditional hat. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shiranui had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamiki. When they reached the village, Shiranui was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shiranui left out a hoarse and pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off as if into slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamiki village. In honor of Shiranui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened Tsukuyomi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace.
However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. One hundred years had passed since Nagi and Shiranui's ex heroic exploit. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Is this the legendary sword? Is this Suki Sukuyomi, the sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. Oh, what you done do? Dude. Oh, you gonna get eated. That's such a sa strange sound for the voice of this creature. Oh, he who seeks power. He who has broken my bonds. Speak the words. I wish darkness upon the world. Utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power. Uh, uh, do I gotta? Cause it sounds like you don't get to come out if I don't. Ooh. Run, my dude. You wrecked everything. <laughs> as he just yells as he runs away. Aw, you're breaking stuff. Ooh, not good. Not a fun time. No, the trees! <laughs> a horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamiki Village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Kaboom! Hello, Peach Lady! Wood Sprite, Sakuya. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of Doom. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amaterasu, now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Oops. I'm alive! Okami Amaterasu Ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is, Amaterasu. How, how delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. <laughs> I'm taking a nap. I just woke up. <laughs> Sleeping is a lot of hard work. Time for a nap. Amaterasu, gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to de devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. 
but never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your power to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm? Eh, what is this? Has something stolen its way into my robe? Oh, oh, ee, <laughs> tickles. Phew, what on earth? You again. Ow, 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 are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, bug? Bug? I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isun. Ciao. Wandering artist Isun. I'll show you just how great I am. It won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. What's that? Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? I've always been a sucker for that kind of art. It's so pretty and just so unique. What's with you, Furball? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of Shiranui. Oh, that gulp. <laughs> Whoa, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with the great Isun. Don't make me use my prize sword, Dinko Maru, against you. I think. I think uh, we have bigger problems than your little knife. What's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh great god, Amaterasu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamiki Village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That Sakuya girl sure said some weird stuff. The villagers' spirits are being kept inside the fruit? That's the fruit? That girl said that if you cut it down, the village will be restored. Yes, she literally just said that. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me, too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. Very true. Very true. Woo 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 woo! I got some wolfy moves. Wee! -oo. Examine. What could I examine? There was something over here. That fruit sure is growing in a high place. The only way we're gonna reach that is some kind of special power. I don't know why this little, like, turd of a bug sounds like this, but... I can jump! This dog has some serious ups. Phew! Where are we? It got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. I'm going to do that voice the whole game. It's going to be super annoying. <laughs> you can use the right stick to look around. Oh, it, you really look so helpless. You sure you're going to be okay? Hold on. That's an origin mirror. 
They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. So a save point. Well, to put it shortly, you can save your progress here. And let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way, you can always go back if you get stuck on something. Gotta be prepared, especially when you're still learning the ropes. Look at all those pots just waiting to be broken. If you bust them, there might be some something good inside. Press that button to bust them with your head. Boom! Way to go, my furry friend. You can do that anytime you see something you can break. Money! I got me some yen. Oop. It's a little hard to control. Give me all that money. Money, 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 money. Whoa, whoa, hold on there, Burbo. Get a load of that. That chest looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Get up that high out of... Getting up that high ought to be a piece of cake. Press X to jump. Then press X again to do a wall jump. But make sure you press it firmly so you jump really high. Boing. 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 I knew you could do it. They say good luck is found in high places. So keep your eyes peeled. We don't want to miss any treasure. I've realized the last two games that I've played, Okami, Resident Evil, and Tales of Berseria, have all had protagonists that are female, which is pretty cool. I didn't plan that, but it works out. Looks like the bridge is out. This shouldn't be so hard. Um, I'm a Terrasu, what? What is? Was it? That's kind of long. Mind if I call you Ami? Listen, Ami. Ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brushwork has its own soul. At least that's what they say. Just watch. It'd take all day to explain. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? Boom! Nice, huh? Yeah, you just basically broke time and space by making a bridge with ink. Just a little technique, Master. I've mastered called Rejuvenation. It's one of my many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore uh, broken or missing things. I've practiced really hard just to master this one technique, but there are 13. Each one is a power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. Sounds unlucky. The gods now dwell within objects all around us, but god or no god, how could anyone have the power to master all 13? Hmm. Sounds a little like, uh, foreshadowing to me. Pots! River of the Heavens. The River of the Heavens? They mean the fabled Stardust River? But I sure don't see anything like that around here. It couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? Give me all the yen. Give me all the yen. What's over here? <gasps> Run up the hill. Run up the hill. Wow. Look at the stars twinkle. Oh, I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look. Are those stars forming a pattern? Or is it just me? A dragon. Hmm. There's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star into the sky, because, you know, you can do that, right? A boop. Uh, 
Bah. Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Press R1 to hold the brush, and then draw with this triangle. That's not a triangle, that's a square. I sure spent a heck of a lot of time practicing that. I'm just kind of getting showed up by a little dog. Don't even know what it's doing. Boom! I just created a star. I am a god. <gasps> Dragon! Yomigami. Ah, uh, why if it isn't Mother Amaterasu? I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yomigami, God of Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could meet again. While you were away, the thirteen spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men, and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation, and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. It's me as a dragon. He's got the same patterns. <laughs> wow! That was Yomigami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait. So you have the power of rejuvenation now? What? I took like 50,000 million years to learn that and you were like, Hey look, a star. Oh, I can do a thing now. Can you really use to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean you were as good with a brush as yours truly. But that's not possible. I'm way too good. Nah, it couldn't be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? <gasps> Give me some pots! Ooh, trophy earned. We got Yomigami. Run, 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 run! Oh, we were making little, little plants behind us. We're back to the river of the heavens. Nothing has changed. Wonder if drawing some stardust would get the river flowing again. Nah. It's one thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a starry river... Nah, there's no way you could pull off a stunt like that. I can woof. Oh no, I can woof. Alright. That was not the right button. I might need to... Alright, get that ink all over Isun here. Isun Boshi apparently means one inch boy. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's a flea. So that's, that's clever. So this really must be the river of the heavens. But what I really want to know is who the heck drew the darn thing? I can't woof in the water. Can I get out of the water, please? All right, there we go. I need to draw more. There we go. The Google search of E soon is unkind. I'm not surprised. Ha -pa! You abstained an astro pouch. Look what you found, Furball. This is this astral sprout here is amazing. It can swallow up lots of food. Then when it's full, it can revive its own owner if he or she dies. Let's start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. Let's go wreck some pot. Ow. I consumed an apple. Nom 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 nom. Nectar filled sour apple. Fills astral's pouch. Oh little things. What else is in here? You consumed a pig. Juicy and fragrant peach fills the astral pouch a little bit. Nom, 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 nom. You consumed an orange. Orange with sharp citrus taste fills the astral pouch a little bit. I just called it an astral pouch. That is not what it is. I just realized I don't have a map. I'm going to get very lost. 
<laughs> well, the Isun in our world right now is a tiny flea that likes to go into the booby area of a peach god. What are you? What are you? Oh, I just murdered that uh, horse. Whoops. I consume dumplings! Nom 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 nom. Doughy balls made from grain. Fills the astral spout. I'm never gonna say that word right. Astral pouch. <laughs> astro pouch, astro spout, astral. Ugh. Who puts dumplings in pots? Ah, oh, it's so pretty. I love it so much. Ugh, going up all these stairs. Oh, all these stairs. Ooh, that looks ominous. And then it does that. Is this? Is this a legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagi. The legendary hero Nagi is enshrined here. He vanquished evil a hundred years ago with the help of the White Wall Shiranui. I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong. First the river of the heavens, now this place. Where the heck are we, Furball? Boy, this place is a wreck. See that sword in the really bad shape? The gods sure didn't do much to protect this place. It's in a cave. Like, oh, there's a big ol' hole. Oof. Big pots. Give me all that yen. Hey, Ami, doesn't knock his broken sword there bug you? Oh. Alright, let's repair this guy's sword. Poof. That was your brushwork all this time? How'd you get so good? Exactly, who are you, anyway? Mm. Hey, there's another constellation. This one looks kinda like a... A, a rat? A mole? A mouse? Boop. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> A rat with a cleaver, okay. Uh, Tachigami. Well, well, if it isn't Mother Amaterasu. It's been a long time, but with all these monsters around, the only place I could hide was in this shrine dedicated to ancient heroes. If there is anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Make good use of this sword. As it was designed to conquer evil. Teeny tiny sword, gi er, teeny tiny rat, gigantic sword. You soon can't sport that. Hey, that was the god Tachigami, master of the power slash technique. Wait a minute, if you're getting all these powers, then you're just like that Shira, Shira, Shira Nui. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. Shira Nui? Shira Nui. Shira Nui. Oh my god. Shira Nui. You know the wolf who fought and died alongside the great Nagi? When Shira Nui died, the wolf's power was split into the 13 brush gods. This is crazy. Shira Nui and Nagi. It's just like the legends. Well, anyway, I've never seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing up your stuff off on that boulder over there? Let me see you slice it in half by drawing a single line. Is it like Shira, Masters of the Universe? I don't. I won't believe it till I see it.
And Wacha! You call that a line? He just brushed like a sword, slashed with a single straight line. Ha! Wow! I didn't think you had it in you, Furball. I'm not even in the same league as you. Guess I really overestimated myself. Hey, Furball. Er, I mean, I'm a Terasu. I've made up my mind. If you're Shir Shiranui Reborn, then that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. Lucky you. Oh, yeah. Lucky me. <laughs> it's not. It's no use trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. But enough about me. Now that you've mastered the power slash, you can cut down that thing Sakuya was talking about. Let's go back and give it a shot. Yeah, Isun's a little bit of a... A little bit of a... Bro. Wacha! But yeah, it's so pretty. This is why I thought that you would really like this game, because it focuses so heavily on art, while still being a focus on, like, mythical folklore and stuff. What the? Where'd they come from? Ah, uh, whatever. Draw first, ask questions later, right? You know that divine instrument you have on your back? Well, press this. I, I don't know why I keep forgetting what a square is. Press the square to use its power against them. Hula, hula, hula. Ow! Look, Ami! Once you've caught them off guard and turned them black and white, they're easy prey for your brush no matter how nasty they are. Grab your brush and give them a power slash. Hula! Wacha! Wacha! I missed. Oh, you're not black and white yet. Wacha! Oh, cut him in half. Ooh, a thing. Demon thing. Thing forged in demonic hatred. Is that how things work? They just. I'm so angry. Here's a fang. Beautiful and deadly. Bottle full of ink fills one of Amaterasu's ink pot. Ah, the enemy turned into a flower. I can bork, and I love it so much. <laughs> Spirit Globe M. Humanity's faith made solid restores one unit of solar energy. I'm a solar energy too? I'm so green! But I'm white. Eco green doggo! <laughs> I'm making flowers behind me because I have magical powers. Whoa! And jump over that rock. I'm gonna wreck the horse again. Up, 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 up. Oh no! More ickies! Ah, oh, I'm gonna get. Oh, I just like focused in on his butt. Two in one shot! Yeah! Ciao! Nom 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 nom. 420 yen! Woo! Words are hard. Wee! I got super big jumps. Oh yeah! So, uh. They also, much like the fact about the fact that the Cats, uh, Cats remake, um, the new Cats movie, there was gonna, there was somebody that animated the buttholes. There are also drawn-in buttholes on the characters in this game. Amaterasu has a little butthole. Did I miss you? I don't think I ever actually opened up that chest. Amaterasu's favorite snack restores three units of solar energy. Give me all your yen, bots. Whee! 
Barking brings up my units, okay. I bet my screen is actually blocking my health over there, so I might want to put my camera over on a different side for this game. Let's see. Yep, it does block it, so let's quick. See, now you can see all my stuff. My life and my um, ink pots. Alright, let's... I missed. Wow, the village has been restored. Sakuya came through big time. She really was protecting the village. But I sure wish I could have spent some more time in her kimono. Because I'm a pervert and gross and disgusting like that. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Please don't eat me. The fun joys of perversion and misogyny and... <laughs> All that fun, fun stuff. But seriously, with monsters running around and all, the village could still be in danger. Let's go see how... I can read. Let's go see how they're all doing down there. Go, doggo! Hello? What in the world? I don't remember there being a statue here. Well, whatever. Let's go talk to the villagers. I don't think he's a statue. Oh, stairs. Oh, my only weakness. Even dogs hate stairs. I've got a bad feeling about this. Kamiki Village is supposed to be famous for its scenic beauty. I wonder what's going on down there. Let's jump and find out! Oh, we can't jump. Okay, this person has like oranges outside their outfit. Their outfit. Hey, there's a statue here too. It's like... Whoa! <laughs> not again! That's not one of those smaller monsters that's lurking about. A roar like that's gotta belong to something much bigger. Let's hurry up and find somebody with a pulse around here. Oh, little kid. No good, this one's not moving. Suddenly it's turned into Shaggy. Everyone here was perfectly fine just a few hours ago. There's definitely something strange going on around here. Zoinks! The village is back, but what's up with this dark sky? Maybe it's dark outside the village, too. Let's find some higher ground so we can take a look. I was just there. I was just there. <laughs> this is bad. The sun's not even shining. It's as black as night as far as the eye can see. And not a single villager can move a muscle. Is it some kind of curse? Did a monster do this? It's not gonna stay like this forever, is it? If only the sun were out to light our way. If you could draw a circle in the sky, we'd have ourselves a sun. But I guess that'd be impossible, even for a god like you. Or will it? Maybe we better seek out another brush god for help. Of course, if you had that kind of power from the start, that'd be a different story. Oh gosh, trying to draw a circle now. Ooh! I am Amaterasu, after all. What the? Hey! Come to think of it, your name is Amaterasu. That's the name of the sun god. 
so in hollow that you had the sunrise technique from the start. <laughs> With it, you could even turn night into day. Wow, you're no run-of-the-mill guy, that's for sure. The flowing brush is like music from the heavens. That's a line from one of my grandfather's poems. He felt a skilled artist was like a musician of shape and color. Since you're such a great artist yourself, why don't we name your brushwork after that poem of his? It's called Celestial Brush. After all, your brush did bring out the sun. Well, Ami, let's get back to the village. We gotta see if the villagers are back to normal now. Mm, who are you? <laughs> Look at this guy. Village Elder Mr. Orange. The White Wolf? Not the one who fought that terrible creature with Nagi? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> you couldn't possibly be the legendary Shiranui. No, it can't be. That story is hundreds years old. Still, you look a lot like that statue of Shiranui. Hey, my marks are gone. On the other hand, you don't look quite as smart. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, growl at this old dude. Ho oh, oh, ho! No need to growl like that. He, oh my gosh, he looks a lot like because of this animation, because of his big old beard and everything. He reminds me of one of the dudes from um, Zelda, the Wind Waker. Like the combination of Okra and the other brother, the really old one that has like the big beard but the big brain. Can you really understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not one to mince words. I just state the facts. Who, 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 what, who, you gonna fight me? <gasps> Baddies. Ah, oh, that artwork is so cool. <gasps> What's this sudden chill down my spine? Here they come, Furball. Those are the monsters that have been plaguing these lands. They sneak into villages and cause all sorts of trouble. Step aside, Furball. This is a job for my trusty sword, Denkomaru! Wow! Oh! Uh, <laughs> That, I mean, that guy, he'd be dead. There's no way he wouldn't just be dead. The pond came back. And we got... Japanese. Wow, you really got aggressive when you're mad, don't you? Hey, you got yourself some praise. And look... See how that dried up spring began flowing again? That's because ridden an area of monsters restores the gods' power to the land. People call it divine intervention. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the only... I always laugh at the term divine intervention because I always think back to Inuyasha, where Rokuro is trying to decide a path to choose. So he sets the staff, and it falls going one direction. People walk by him talking about how hot, beautiful women are going the direction that they are going, which is the opposite direction that his staff falls. And he just kind of tilts it with his foot to point the other direction and says, Divine Intervention. The more you restore the land to its natural beauty, the more praise you'll get. It's the source of your power. Few people believe in gods these days, and that may weaken you, but if you try real hard, your true power might shine through. But boy, there's sure been a lot of monsters around lately. And that Mr. Orange you tossed around up at the sacred deck? Looks like he thinks you're a regular wolf. Seems the gods have grown so weak people can't see him anymore. That's... That's a common theme, isn't it? 
the gods become so weak, people start not believing in them, so people can't see them anymore. I love it. I love that kind of logic and thinking. Grumble, 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 grumble. Oh, uh, anyway, I'll show you around the village. I have a feeling we're in for an epic adventure. This should be fun, Furball. Pay a box. Boink. Village for a peach. Trophy earned. Feed bags. Freshly roasted seeds that... <gasps> birds! Let's feed the birds. Come back, birds. I want to feed you the food. What button do I press? <laughs> no. Feeding the birds. Oh my gosh, do I really have to wait through this entire cutscene? The birds love me, and I got some praise. Good birdos. Saturday morning cartoons. Hello? Oh, it's the guy I launched. <sighs> Great Shironui, oh no. I already can't remember what the old man voice was that I used. Hey, this guy's back to normal. I can bite people? Uh, I feel it. I sense it. Foul beasts dwell in this place. Concentrate. Look hard. You see? Right behind you now. This guy made enemies come and attack me. 820 in. Woo! Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. The fighting went on for exactly 21 seconds. Zoom! People are here again! I've just about enough of this. I don't know if it's stray dogs or monsters or what, but someone keeps messing up my crops. Going around digging holes with triangle and mixed man. If I catch you digging around here, you'll get a good thumping. Oh, digging around? Digging around like this? Oh, oh, she mad. Oh, she coming. Ah! Don't give me a good thumping. Oh, no! I had one more and she thumped me. Ah, oh, I got smacked again. Well, we'll move on from that. I was close and now I'm angry. Hey, doggo. Did that... Did those leaves just appear? Can I talk to you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> a white wolf. Now that's just plain weird. Sure looks like a weird little bugger. Weak little bugger. Think you can beat my dog, Hayabusa? <laughs> well, listen to this. There's this field my mom attends to you, you see? Well, Hayabusa managed to dig up nine turnips in a row, even though my mama was chasing him around trying to slug him. There's, there are actually ten turnips in that field. Hayabusa is fixing to get all ten. Oh. They can get up all the turnips in my mama's field. Don't forget you have to avoid being slugged by my mama. I'll admit you're better, Canine, if you can do it. So that's what it's about. Eh, she's gonna try to slug us. Not exactly my idea of a good time, Ami. At least you have your celestial brush and wicked brush stroke. Oh. So I'm gonna abuse the people of this village. 
so that I can get what I want. Wow. Is this a bathtub? This must be where she ages sake. Smells good, doesn't it? Ooh, sake. I have sake. Arp, arp. Arp, arp. Hello. Kushi. Oh, what a fine looking wolf. What's your name? Mine's Kushi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sake Brewer Kushi. Working in the field again, are ya? Isu, are you and the wolf together? This is where I grow the rice for making my sake, you know. But I have to manage the harvest all on my own. It's hard work. Maybe I should have Susano give me a hand again this year. Oh, listen to me blabbering on. I just can't help chatting to you. Why, Ami, I think you found a friend here. You'll meet many people who want to talk to you like this. You should talk to them two or even three times. Being a god and all, you can actually tell when to talk because you'll see a triangle above their head. That means they still have something to say. It might even be valuable items and information sometimes. They may just be muttering to themselves, but it pays to listen. Susano, a neighbor of mine, he's a little unusual, but he goes around with a huge sword slung over his shoulder. He's always practicing with it. They say he's a direct descendant of our legendary hero Nagi. He loves his sake too. He often pops around here to buy it. Make sure to say hello when you see Susano. He could use a friend, I should think. He's always on his own. So he's an alcoholic. <laughs> an alcoholic with a big sword. <laughs> oh, I just ate somebody's rice ball. And an entire bale of rice. Well, I hope they didn't need that so that they don't die. This is a millstone used for polishing rice, but the water mill's broken and won't move. Something's broken, huh? I think I can fix it. How's the water mill broken? Where's the broken water mill? Blah. Boing. Alright, where's this water mill? <gasps> it is broken! Guess what, water mill? You're gonna get fixed. Poof. I'm so magic! What, what's this? The mill's been mended? <gasps> Who on earth did that? I've completely given up on the idea of making my sake, but now I can get on with polishing the rice. Well, no time to like the present. I better get started. Look at her wiggle. She has like this game also has that kind of stylistic Wind Waker design to it too, where like their torsos are this long, and then their legs are this long, <laughs> like. It's so... She, she's always snoring like a bear. This is the home of the two-bit middle-aged warrior. <laughs> he goes around claiming to be a descendant of Nagi. He's famous around here for his lineage, but he's awfully lazy and too off the wall to be a descendant of a legendary hero. He's just a loser. He's got horses outside of his house that I'm going to destroy. Oh. No, 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 no. Fight me. Oh, there's somebody that's pissed over there. Oh, it's an old lady, I think. It's Mrs. Orange, a white wolf. Now that's a rare sight. 
Did you come down from the mountain just to play with us? Well, you'd better be careful, dear. Lately, some monsters have been attacking the village. Do you even know what you're talking about, Grandma? This here is Shiran... Sh Shiranui... <laughs> Reborn. The wolf and I have it, have it covered. Those monsters are history. Well, if it isn't Isun and riding a wolf, are we? This one certainly resembles Shiranui, especially the nose. Hm? Well, I'd better get back to my work. I've got to clean the old man's underwear. Here to listen to the ramblings of an old woman, are you? Well, I was doing laundry, but when I was ready to dry, I noticed my drying pole was gone. Oh, whatever shall I do? Where did that darn pole go? How could someone, something important, like that just disappear? Huh, she's missing something that shouldn't, should be there, is she? You'd better help her out, Furball. Can I just... Can I draw a pole in? I sure can. Poof. Look at that. Making people happy all over. A new drying pole? Oh my, where did that come from? The gods must have answered my prayers because I only pray for a drying bowl. How wonderful. What kind of... That's not how gods work. <laughs> Time to dry laundry now. Thank you, gods. You made it so I could dry some laundry. Well, I'm glad I was able to hang my laundry, but... The sun seems to be so far away these days. Maybe it doesn't like all those monsters that are lurking about. If only it would shine closer, my laundry would dry in a second. You want the sun? I'll give you the sun. Alright, if it's closer, it's gotta be a big circle. My word! The sun has suddenly drawn so close. And <laughs> literally drawn. My laundry will be bone dry in no time. First my pole, and now with this. Will the miracles never cease? Maybe I ought to make some cherry cakes to offer to the sun. Come back tonight if you want some too, Snowball. No one makes better cherry cakes. They are mouth-watering good. I made her happy. Arp, arp. It's so cute. Puppers. Alright, let's try this one more time. Oops, wrong buttons. I'm trying not to use my ink as much, too, so that's not helping one more. Ah! Come on, lady, run faster. No! Oh, turnip lady. Alright, that makes it easier. Boom! Ow! <gasps> no! That made it delete everything. I had to grab it before she thumped me again. Oh, but I did it. Oh, he's not impressed yet. Alright, I'll have to come back and do that again later. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna eat that. No! If his mama catches you snacking, she'll clobber you. Okay, I guess I won't eat that. I'll break their bo pots, though, and steal their food that way. Alright. We did a few good deeds. I think we can actually go and save now. It's been a little while. Woof! Uh, the greatest. Oh, Kushi, let's... 
Whoa, looks like he ain't waking up anytime soon. He's out cold. Bark at him until he wakes up. Slash him. And that did nothing. Alright. Who are you? That's a big old boulder. Very akin to uh, Majora's Mask. Heave, heave. This is weird. My mind really wants to shift this rock. And apparently we're in Japan, but I'm British. But my body won't cooperate. It's like I'm made of lead. Could this be a case of demonic possession? I sure hope not. Ooh, a new enemy with a guitar. Smack the ass. Get out of here. Ooh, you. Let's break your thing in half. Oh, I made him covered in ink. Maybe I have to do this just sideways. Yeah, there it is. What's that? Oh my life. Let's slice him in half. Ugh. Ooh, it's so pretty now. That's a lot of praise. Gimme, gimme, nom 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 nom. You accumulated praise. Hey dude. Oh! I feel as light as a feather now. Sadly, that doesn't make it any easier to shift this boulder. Who went and blocked the only path out of here anyway? There's no way to get back to the city now. Say, Pop, your owner lives your your owner lives here in the village, right? So you must know that guy, Susano. Can you get him to come here? They say he's a descendant of the legendary hero Nagi. If anyone can do something about this rock, it's him. That's strange. This boulder wasn't here before. Now everyone's becoming English. This is awful. Alright, I'm going to put a sign there. Wake up! Jump! I am the greatest. I am Susano, and I like to... Let's wake this guy up. Hey, wake up. What the hell? Uh, mm, what the? Oh, I feel so well rested. I plan to meditate underground and fell fast asleep. Huh? Who are you? And what business do you have with Shisano, the greatest warrior ever? Look at your funny eyelashes! What a... <laughs> I love your hairy arms. <laughs> They're just swooshes. The great warrior, Susano. Do even the beasts know of my great exploits now? Well, Fido, I'm not looking for apprentices. Go back to the mountain and play with your monkey friends. How dare a mangy mutt like you interrupt my... Uh, med meditation. Get a load of this guy, all brawn and no brains. Quit messing around and come with us. <clears throat> you snuck in here again? Quiet. Uh, quit bugging me, you, you... Bug? I told you, don't call me that, a bug. Come on, Ami. We're taking them with us. Yoink. What do you think you're doing? Put me down this instant. What will the neighbors think? Whee! Descending descendants. Trophy earned. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is cute. Where are we going? Oh, we're going to the big rock. You mangy butt. You brought me all the way here just to test yourself against me. Then prepare to taste the wrath of my trusty blade. Tohenboku! 
Hold on a minute. You're the legendary Sasano. Yep. None other than Sasano, the greatest warrior that ever lived. <laughs> and by the way, never interrupt warriors engaged in battle. But I've got a favor to ask you. This huge boulder block in the path is really getting in my way. Can't you do something about it? What? Come on, please. I mean, you're, you are Nagi's descendant, aren't you? Surely one stone's no match for your mighty skills, right? Uh, uh, it, it's certainly not beyond my ability. Really? Great. Okay, then. No time like the present. Go for it. Uh, uh, wait. Uh, a, a boulder of this size is not very easy, even for me. This will require my utmost focus to magnify the power of my sword. I shall retire to the training grounds to make preparations. Wait for my return. Huh. I wonder. I've never seen the guy train seriously, ever. Hey, buddy. You training? Yep. That, that sure is training. That's the kind of training I do, uh, Saturday night. I know I told that merchant I could help, but a boulder of that size? I don't care if I'm a legendary, of a legendary bloodline, it's just too big. Huh. Oh no. I, I, I can't believe I've run out of sake at a time like this. This won't do one bit! That's it for today. I'll just have to train tomorrow. I can't train without sake to fuel the fire. Training will just have to wait till tomorrow. Why do today what can be put off until tomorrow? That's doing the things the Susano way. Ha 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 I'm an uncle. Sake? Hmm. Oh yeah, this village has a sake brewer girl, doesn't it? Yeah, we only chatted with her for a while, and fixed her wheel. Did I try one more time? Oh, I'm so upset that I didn't get it. <gasps> My tappy taps are not strong enough. <sighs> Why am I awful at this? <sighs> Got it. Got it. <gasps> Get it! Oh, run away! Run away! And... Come on. Um, Get away from my things, you mangy little mutt! I don't want you here! Hey, kid! Hey, kid! You offered the oddly shaped doggy dog as trophy. Hi, that's 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 the odd shaped turnip Hayabusa and I've been looking for. That means you've broken Hayabusa's record by digging up all ten turnips. Gosh darn it! Fine, you're the better canine. Anyway, it actually feels good to have a new goal to aim for. <laughs> what do you like to eat? Uh, drinks, mostly. But what else? Uh, no, mostly drinks. Oh! Oh, she pet me! Oh, pet me again, nice lady! I could bite you. You're interested in how to brew sake, are you, Snowy? Well, this thing here is for polishing the rice, you see. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've got something I think you'll like. <laughs> it's just some leftover stock from the store, but I made it myself. It's called Vista of the Gods. Oh, but are you even old enough to drink, Snowy? I'm a dog! <gasps> It'll kill me. I don't need my kidneys or my liver. I'm just a dog. <clears> How? <throat> oh, hold it right there, Fido. That smell. Is that Kushi's famous homebrewed sake? Fido, my friend, did you bring me some of Kushi's sake? 
Oh, what a glorious day. Oh, good old sake. Ah, oh, man without drink is like a warrior without his trusty sword. Your sword is a stick. I'm just noticing that. It's a giant wooden stick. In fact, it is said that Nagi himself relied on the power of sake in his battle with the dreaded Orochi. I think that's wrong. I think you're lying. It's all so clear now. Let the training begin! I'll just try a bit of my usual routine. Okay, here I come. Kamehameha! Oh, I was supposed to do that for him. I didn't realize that he was that inept. I shall not get off so- you shall not get off so easy next time, dummy. Okay. I see what I have to do. I'm mentally prepared now. Okay, here I come. Iten Mitsurugi style, Ryo Suyasen! Iten Mitsurugi style, uh, Amakakuru Ryo no Hiromaki! Iten Mitsurugi style, Exploding Implosion! Soryusen! Huh. Pia! He's so excited now. Sasano style. Exploding implosion! It just disappeared. That's. That's amazing! You slice a huge rock clean in half! You really are something! Wow, I didn't think you could... I didn't think you could do it, Pops! <laughs> Me neither. Uh, I mean, of course I could! <laughs> I don't know what this guy's voice is. After all, I am Susano, the greatest warrior ever! You weren't just showing off when you said you're Nagi's descendant. Someone like you'd have no trouble fighting monsters off, huh? Uh. Well, anyway, thanks a lot. Now I can start doing business again. Ta-ta! You... just... You just left the opposite direction of the big boulder that we just opened up. Did, did you say monsters? Oh, uh, of course, no problem. This is a job for the monster, most skilled warrior of all Nippon. Yes, I shall rid these lands of their vile presence. Just sit back and watch the great Susano work his magic. Ah! <laughs> he shouldn't get all puffed up. He's nothing without us. Think he'll be okay? The monsters outside the village are nasty. Ah, uh, glorious Amaterasu. You have a butthole, as in a hole in your dress, to show off your butt. Albeit, it's a peach, and your boobs are also a peach. But really? What a pleasure to witness your heroic deeds. I'm in awe. When you cleaved the boulder into two, my heart skipped a beat. To see your skills with the brushes to be witness to great art. Yeah, so do we get a reward or something, lady? I hardly think your participation had any impact, little bug. It's Isun, 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 stop calling me a bug! I'll crawl back into your kimono if you say that again. Wow. Wow. My words? Ah, uh, relax, Lady Furball. Here's more comfy anyway. Let's get back to that reward thing you were talking about. Hmm? Come on, Ami. Put your paw on. Go on. Shake. I must apologize. I would like to reward you, but I'm afraid I haven't the power. I can barely muster enough strength to make a flower bloom.
Though my body stands firmly here within the confines of the village, my roots spread far and wide, protecting remote areas outside. These parts of me are known as guardian saplings. <gasps> saplings! They collect the praise and adoration that give me strength. The recent evil eroding the guardian saplings? If this continues, I will wilt away as well, and my power will vanish. Worse yet, the dark power grows stronger with each passing day. Life as we know it will be consumed utterly in no time. Aw oh, man, this is getting heavy. Great and powerful Amaterasu. Could I be so bold as to request your assistance in rejuvenating these guardian saplings by lifting the curse that enslaves them? I shall mark the locations of nearby saplings on your map. Right here and right here. Alright, thank you. No, her butt. I've grown tired. I haven't even the strength to speak now. I hope that my request has not fallen on deaf ears. Amaterasu, may the fresh scent of flowers protect you, always. Speaking of flowers, our lilacs are blooming and they smell marvelous. Ah! I'm always itching for a good fight, but I sure don't want to poke my nose into this mess. Still, I'm stuck with Furball here till I get all the brush skills. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Ami, Ami's a god, no? What could possibly go wrong? Hey, did you listen to her, Furball? You get the rest of the brush te techniques to save the world. And I'll steal and learn them. Yeah, that's the ticket. At any rate, let's start by following those marks on the map. Oh, whoop. Alright, I think that about does it for today. For Saturday morning cartoons. I'm gonna go save. Motorcycles are gonna rev and outside. Then I'll try to be back for more of Tales of Berseria tomorrow in the morning for Let's Pray. And we should have a fun old time then. So thanks anybody for joining and see y'all next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, Hit like and subscribe and follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash legendary underscore sapling. I plan on releasing and streaming a lot more cool videos, including the rest of Okami, as well as Tales of Berseria, and a couple of other games that I really enjoy and want to share with the rest of you. Thanks so much and have a great day. Take care.